Final Bout 7, the 10th year anniversary. here since the very first final bout and it's really hard to explain how amazing this event is. I want to show you guys what really happens at final bout because it doesn't just start on the weekend when the driving starts. It actually starts almost a week prior. We go out to eat. You know, that's my favorite thing to do. We go and look at our friends' cars. We go to a car meet, set up a cruise. We go to Car Club Chicago and hang out there in a nice... Hey, Big Jimmy. <laughs> What's final bout to you? Because you're pretty new to find about all things considered. Yeah, especially in terms of engaging with it. To me, keeping style but also keeping camaraderie life right drifting is a friend sport yeah no one drifts alone right no no and it's like kind of like the skate park oh days where like half the fun of it is just going hang out with your homies and so this kind of brings that all yeah. together in one while keeping the style alive because it's kind kind of dying yeah, well you just you got to motivate people to make their cars cool because obviously you can go drifting in the worst car possible yeah but it just is so much cooler when it looks because we got we're in like that z arrow everyone's just like dude just buy a beater and get out there which i'm all for hey drive your helmets as hard as you want to but but if you they, can, do. We're about to show you a fine example of what Fine About is. Fine About 7, 10th year anniversary. Enjoy the show. <laughs> What's happening right now? So, yeah, so right now, Lean Sun's just landed. Charm will be here in about 20 minutes. So we're going to go to the airport. We're going to mob out in style. It's just 110 degrees out. But we're going to go pick up all these guys. Alexi, Charm, Lean Sun's going to go get them and get this started off right. Let's get Fine About 7 week going right now. Uh. We had to stay in the queue for like more than a very month or two. Hours, hours. Two hours waiting. Two hours? Oh here, my gosh. We're here now. It's as hot as it is in Japan, but it's less humid, which is nice. And we're in Chicago. And we're going to do some drifting stuff. Yes, sir. And we got picked up by a convoy of drift cars at the airport, <laughs> which is the way to do it. Final bout, special guests have arrived. We've got Alexi, Noriaro, Team Charm, and Lean Sense. And Sayaka. Oh, oh, so happy to be here. Let's go. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I have no where we're going. Oh my god. All of a sudden it went from 100 degrees to now raining and hailing. see the hail on the window. I don't know if I've ever driven in a hailstorm before. Really? Never? Yeah, I no. I sadly have before. Ten years ago, when we did our cars, we went to Gingerman to test out before grid life ever started, right? Me and Josh are just freshly in our S13s. Nobody's seen it on the way home. Hailstorm. That's great. So we had to pull into a gas station because we had fresh shit that we didn't want to mess up. But, you know, thank you, Chris, for letting us test, but that hailstorm was up. So ten years later, Got another hailstorm. Cars are outside. Oh well. Full circle. It is what it literally is. Full circle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey. How the f did you get back there? Uh, Look how small little this guy. There's no way. <laughs> small boy Wait, problems. You came in through there? Yes. I need to see this. Sorry. Yeah. I, I have to I, do it again. I don't believe you w were able to like get through that like that. Circus is in session. Hold on. Let me show you guys a little something here. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> What? Just a little, uh, little light work, small, silly little guy. That's insane. <laughs> I can't fast yeah, being small. Just I could never. Sometimes helps you out. Today we're gonna to teach you guys what it takes to be a judge at Final Bout. It's not easy. Judging is really difficult. There's a lot of really cool cars and obviously it's subjective, but you have to kind of take yourself out of it, be unbiased. Obviously you're gonna to lean towards what you like, but as you learn about these cars and learn what their story is and what it takes to build what their version of the best drift car is, you learn a lot about cars and you learn to respect a lot more about other people's visions. And it's just really cool. It's a cool experience, but it's very hard. We judge paint exterior, we judge wheel and wheel fitment, judge interior, and engine bay and then we have an option to give a bonus point. The bonus point comes with something like, for instance, this team, I gave them all a bonus point, which is something I've never done, but they all have matching GTCs, which are some of the rarest wheels. It's a lower wheel, peak super street, peak import magazine car days. GTCs were that wheel, but they fell off and no one really has them anymore. So this team made it their mission to collect as many as possible and make that their official team wheel, and I just love that story. So I gave them bonus points. Judging find about fun, I get to be around the sea of cars, you know? Not only do I get to look at them, judge them, watch them drift, but I also get to drift with them. It's a really cool job. Shout out Final Bout for having me out here. The process of judging Final Bout isn't just watching them drift. Final Bout is 50% car show, 50% driving. So you could get tens across the board in driving, but if your cars look like crap, chances of you winning are gonna be tough. Everything matters. Cool car, drive car, drive car, cool car, drive car, cool, cool car. How does it feel to be on the other side? Terrible. I'd so much rather be MCing right now. And now I'm driving. My team's been driving since like the very first. And I've driven like some of the regionals, but this is my first like actual final bout. This is my first time driving at US Air in my own car. Hopefully I don't disappoint. about seven here at US Air. We're gonna perforate, and then we're gonna penetrate, and then we're gonna percolate, and then we go palpitate, and then you just gotta master the bait. And then you gotta mm, power tap that ass, you know what I'm saying? Hit him with the... <laughs> <laughs> Show out for this. I told you, bro. <laughs> Official day one. Yesterday was just a pre-day to get the car show judging out of the way because it's almost impossible to judge 120 cars on the car show portion and then judge them on the action portion. It just wouldn't happen in one day. So we got that out of the way. Today, we're focused on the driving portion. So just a friendly reminder, find about is 50% car show, 50% driving. So you can't come here with a car that doesn't look good and drive great and win, vice versa. Today, we're focused on the driving portion. Driver's meeting, first practice session for the drivers, and then action start. But it gets better. Competition isn't the peak of this. The night driving at Final Bout is some of the best driving you'll see, I think, ever. It's the best driving that I've ever been a part of. Being in that mix of group, just hungry for laps with people from all over the world is just one of my favorite things. We out here.
it is time for the big show. Find About 7. Competition is about to go down. My favorite part about Find About is taking all the teams and lining them up around the entire track. Literally cool cars as far as the eye can see. First time I was here, one of my fondest memories, I was driving with Animal Style, pulled up on track. They lined everyone up and we got out of our cars and it was this. But the crowd wasn't this big either. To have this experience with a crowd this big just shows doing what you love makes sense sometimes. I don't even know how to put this into words, man. This is crazy. Ten years of doing this, hopefully another ten years ahead of us. Judging starts in about 30 minutes. Walk the line and enjoy the show. We're going to run the competition course, which hopefully you all at this point have had an opportunity to practice. Take home this prestigious trophy. All right, fourth place. 
good feeling. We're going to the car, bro. You guys are looking really good, man. You guys are but you gotta keep that 2.2 safe. I just blew mine, so you know, whatever. Yes! Third place, Drifty Animal Style. Last year, got a little sweaty out here. It was a massive battle between Front Street and Proceed. Here we are again, massive battle between Front Street and Proceed. Not an easy choice. The winner, definitively, this year is T Proceed. Seven competition is now complete. Team Proceed becomes the first back to back Final Bout champion. It's crazy. They went from not winning their event in almost 10 years to now winning back to back. I feel for Front Street. Those guys have been working really hard and driving really hard to make this happen, but drifting is so subjective. I don't believe that there is one best drifter in the world because I think every single day there's a new best drifter in the world. It's a day to day basis thing. Proceed showed up, showed out, they did their thing, drove really hard, and showed us why they deserve to be back-to-back -back champions. But the day is not over. We don't have to end on a low with Proceed winning because now we got night driving. Things get really wild out here. The driving gets crazy. I'm excited to just finally get to take a break and breathe and shred some tires. Final Bout 7 continues. Let's party. Proceed winning Final Bout feels like a glitch. Yeah, that's why I said I don't want to end on a low. <laughs> <laughs>